Here's a video of a guy capturing a little boy getting out of bed to sleep with his dog. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and remember to open the notification bar so that you will watch more exciting videos and you will not miss our updates. Shortly after finding out his wife was pregnant, Newsom adopted a two-year-old puppy from a local rescue called Brutus who, Newsom said, was just a big teddy. He loved the attention and cuddling with people, and when Newsom was 20 weeks pregnant, hospital scans revealed her baby had a serious heart defect. So Finn had multiple surgeries immediately after he was born, and he was able to have open heart surgery until he was a bit older, we were very lucky to find that out before he was born, otherwise he wouldn't be here today. He'll be here and he won't be seeing us. Newsom said, Fenn was finally able to go home after weeks of recovery and some of his complications being treated. Finn can finally go home. As soon as we got home and got the first glimpse of his little brother in Brutus. It was like Brutus knew Finn needed some extra close monitoring, and he's been with Finn ever since around. Newsom said Brutus would often curl up where Finn sat and follow him from room to room. If Finn was sick, Brutus would know right away and stay by Finn's side or turn his head on Finn's chest, Brutus did not like to be separated from Finn, even for a moment, he would scratch himself at the door of Finn's room, or pace outside until he was allowed into his room. The two brothers don't even like to be alone in the room at night or sleep alone. When Finn was a baby, this very protective dog slept on the rug in front of the crib. Now Finn has moved to a toddler bed where the brothers could snuggle better. Finn just started sleeping in his big bed a little over a month ago now that he's a big boy. That's when Brutus began crawling into Finn's bed every night to sleep, and he lay next to Finn as if to keep him from rolling out of bed, Brutus said wherever Finn went, wherever it went, Newsom said. Even if it meant he would be a little uncomfortable, Finn later started crawling out of bed and sleeping on his floor, but naturally, Brutus started sleeping next to him, too, Newsom said. Now that Newsom has moved Brutus' dog bed to Finn's room, Finn will often choose to snuggle up with Brutus in his bed rather than stay in his own bed, which Newsom was able to capture on camera recently some of their cute behavior at night, that looks very warming. If Brutus is sleeping on the floor, Finn will grab his blanket and climb out of bed so he can snuggle up next to his pal, as long as his brother is comfortable, this tame dog doesn't mind being used as a pillow, and now the family people were looking forward to waking up to Finn and Brutus curled up together. And Finn slept with Brutus all night, every night, Newsom said. Whether in Finn's dog bed or on the floor, the two have always slept together, and Newsom is happy that Finn has a good friend and a reliable protector, and the family can't wait to watch grow up together, dogs are adorable pets. That's a fact you can't argue with. It's no surprise, they are considered man's best friends, and luckily dog owners always spend a lot of time with their pets and manage to capture funny and touching moments for us. California couple Joshua Fisher and his wife decided to adopt a pair of dogs to join their family of three young boys, Lennox, Cruz, and Tegan. They chose a pair of heavyweight dogs, and they brought home two Newfoundland dogs, whom they named Persia and Rafi. And despite their size they were very cute and affectionate, and the two the dogs take great care of their three little owners. The three children live with the two dogs and the parents are delighted that their children and their pets get along so well that they are practically inseparable and play together every day. As stated earlier, Persia and Rafi are two Newfoundland dogs, which means they weigh 60 kilograms each. Cruz played a lot of baseball, he was on the school team, he took baseball very seriously, and he was often anxious about it because he worried that he would play badly or make mistakes in the game. The whole family wanted to go to his next game and cheer him on. They wanted to show the kid their utmost support, but unfortunately, 
The dogs were not allowed on the field this time, Cruz felt sad. Without the support of his beloved dogs, it felt a little less encouraging, and as the family was getting ready to watch the boys play. The giant dog rushed across the yard, but Cruz wasn't scared because he knew it was be polite, and it sure won't hurt him. One of the dogs ran up to him and started licking his face, as if wishing the boy good luck before a game, and poking his nose on the boy's shoulder, as if to show his support. The video was shot in 2016, and judging from social media, the children are still having fun with their pets and they are still living happily together. The video, titled Giant Newfoundland Giving Good Luck Kiss has more than 6 million views on YouTube, has gone viral and has gone viral. And the family and the two dogs have a lot to gain fans, many commenters wrote that there is nothing sweeter than owning a huge, kind dog, let alone two. In 2019, the Fishers family sold their old house and they set off on a road trip across the US in their RV. Wanting to visit all the states in their area. We are just following God where we are supposed to go and our family plans to have this joyful wildlife this year and we want to visit all 50 states in this area. They started sharing details of their journey on Instagram. Which was joyous and fulfilling. Now they have more than 200,000 fans. However, their homepage is still best known for two huge and very cute dogs, Newfoundlands are very capable and intelligent, these noble dogs make one of the greatest pets and they get along well with people. But if you're considering and planning to keep one of your own, all you need to know is that they need a lot of attention and companionship, you have to make sure you give them that much, otherwise, it will be torture for them and you will not have the same happy life as them. As they say, there are no bad dogs, only bad owners. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and remember to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, see you next time.